What's going on guys? My name is Kerry. Buying a manufactured home can be overwhelming. If you're doing a factory order, there are so many choices to be made. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about three simple options that I think need to go into every new manufactured home in hopes of making your process a little bit smoother. Don't worry, I'm not here to spend your hard-earned cabbage. The goal here is to improve the look and functionality of your home as much as possible without driving up the price so you get the most value for your dollar. That way you get an amazing home at an affordable price and if and when it comes time to sell, you've got something that people want to buy. What I'm gonna do is show you the three options, tell you why I think they're important, and then we'll talk about the price. The first thing you wanna look at is lighting. Now, most factories have standard lights in the kitchen, dining room, entries, and bathrooms. And some, but not all, have lights standard in the bedrooms. It goes without saying that lighting a home is important, but a lot of the times when people are out touring, they don't take notice because when are you normally touring? During the day, when the show homes are flooded with natural light and it's not gonna be something that you think about. What you wanna avoid is buying a house that doesn't have enough lights and not realizing it until you move into it because it's a lot more affordable to do that at the factory, get the lights put in there, than it is to have an electrician come in after the fact, you gotta fish the wires in, he's gotta cut into your ceiling, it's gonna be a lot more costly. The factory I deal with does do standard lights in the bedroom, so where I add extra lights is the living room and kitchen, because that's where you're gonna be spending most of your time when you're not outside during the day. What I do is four pot lights in the living room and four in the kitchen, and that gives us more than enough light to hang out comfortably and be able to see exactly what you're doing while you're doing it. I came out to a house at night so I could show you the difference between the standard lights and the optional lights that we put in. So over there, you see entryway, standard light. Coming over here, we've got standard light in the dining room. There's our standard kitchen. And then back at the other entry, we've got another standard. And we come down into the bedroom standard and bathroom standard. So more than enough light in the bathroom and the bedroom but it's coming back into here that's a little bit dark. Have a look. So this is coming back into the kitchen and living room. So you can see it's a little bit dark in the kitchen and then definitely dark over in the living room. You definitely want to have at least a couple lamps to light this up if you didn't do the optional lights. So now I'm gonna turn on the optional lights and show you the difference. Standard lights, not bad. Optional lights, way better. Standard lights, optional lights. The second item that I think needs to be added to every manufactured home is some kind of window in the door. The reason being is you're gonna get more natural light into the home and it costs less than adding a full window. The other bonus is it looks great from the outside, so a plain door, boring. Window in the door, great, plus you get the natural light. There are a lot of exterior door options available and there truly is something for every budget. The factory I deal with has 21 exterior door options, so when you're out shopping, make sure you ask what's available, how much it costs, and that way you can decide on a door with a window that's gonna be right for you. This is a front door that I use quite often and there's two things that I really like about it. The first is letting in natural light into your entryway, but the window's high enough that people don't see directly into your house when they walk up to the front door. So I'm six foot two and I would have to really get up on my toes to see into the house. And the second thing that I like about it is the price, but we're gonna to touch on that at the end. The final thing I think needs to be added to every new manufactured home is the full tile backsplash in the kitchen. And there's three reasons why I love this option. Number one, it looks awesome. It takes the kitchen to an entirely new level, a whole nother stratosphere. How many times on HGTV renovation shows have you seen a renovation that doesn't include a full tile backsplash in the kitchen? Not too many. 
The standard for most factories is one row of tile in the kitchen, and that simply doesn't look as cool. Number two, it's easy to clean. I can't be the only person here that's been known to make a bit of a mess in the kitchen, but when I do, it's very easy to clean a countertop and then a full tile backsplash, wipe, wipe, wipe. A lot easier than trying to wipe down the walls. Number three, people love it. So whether or not you're shopping for your forever home, at some point in time, this house will sell again. And when it does, it's gonna be a lot easier to sell with a full tile backsplash because people love it. Now picture, if you will, the standard backsplash one row high and compare it to the full tile backsplash. In my opinion, it's really a no brainer. And when you see the price, I think you'll agree. Now, as promised, we're going to throw some numbers around. Just how much lettuce are these items going to set you back? Great question. I'm glad you asked. The pot lights are $104.60 each. I added nine for a grand total of $941.40. The half round insert in the front door, letting in all that extra light for only $120. The full tile backsplash is $26.15 per linear foot. In the kitchen shown, it came to $392.25. The grand total for the three options I think need to go into every manufactured home is $1,453.65. Now, keep in mind, I am in Canada and our stuff is more expensive than you folks watching from south of the border. So bonus points to you guys because you are likely gonna be paying a little bit less than this. The best part about doing this from the factory and not adding things after the fact is it goes on to the amount that you finance. So you don't have to pay the 1400 bucks out of pocket and it's only gonna raise your monthly payment by seven to 10 bucks, depending on your interest rate. I've got right now about a thousand video ideas floating around in my head all about manufactured homes. So make sure you hit the subscribe button because I've barely scratched the surface. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.